James, wonderful pistachios um, and uh, wonderful results. And the, the business is only five years young. Mm. Um, and yet you've achieved uh, extraordinary success in such a short period of time. What do you think is the background to this? I mean, you know, how have you managed it? It, it is. I mean, it is extraordinary in that, you know, five years ago, the, the owners, the Resnick family, decided to create their own brand after being farming for well over 20 years and have created a brand that is quite clearly the number one market leader, not just in North America, but globally. Um, market shares are, exceed 70% in the US. Um, and number one in UK, Germany, Mexico, Israel, and growing in new markets. Australia, Southeast Asia are just the latest of the, uh, the global um, movement of pistachios. But, and in travel retail? What travel retail is the uh, the next stop? Um, we we are looking to take in all the new channels, and travel retail is one that's been untouched. And so, in the last eleven months since I've joined the company, it's a matter of uh, developing the packaging, making it exclusive, uh, and competing with and in the confectionery category. It develops the category. It's good for everybody. It's good for the retailers. It's good for the consumers. Will you tailor make your product to individual retailers? Or is the branding um, immovable? Oh, the branding is, I mean, that is the whole thing is you've got a brand that has had strong success. You don't need to change that. You're probably silly to change it because the consumers in their domestic market have been uh, made aware of it. So when they travel into retail, new travel retail outlets, they're going to see it and going to recognise it. The formats will be different. That is to suit the, the retailers. You know, we we'll make it a bit more exclusive, Understood. change the packaging to suit the suit the, the channel. Are you prepared to invest behind the brand as well for travel retail? Uh, investment is is fundamental to this company. Um, the Resnicks have been uh, unbelievably aggressive in their um, investment, both through machinery, assets, people and of course the new channels, and this is what we'll be looking to do. Obviously, the returns, is, it's a matter of getting the returns. And, but the returns will come. We take a long view on this. We're not looking for the short-term win. How would you then define the USP of the brand? Well, the USP is that, it, it's, first of all, it's different. Okay? There aren't many pistachio brands around it in the first place. But in travel retail, barring one or two exceptions, there isn't it. It's a, it's a new product range. It's not another Me Too product. So straight away we're giving a, a choice and we always talk about consumers having choices you know, and, and this is giving the, the consumer a new choice. There are other angles that we look at, obviously it's giving an, a health benefit, you know, we are we're conscious of the product that we have, we have one of the healthiest nuts available um, and it now gives the consumers a choice for a healthier product. But at the moment, it's just a one-trip pony. I mean, do you see some line extensions coming through? We have line extensions throughout. We, we're the largest uh, grower of almonds in North America. Um, we have other brands in our portfolio. Uh, that Fiji Water is one of our brands, Pom, pomegranate juice. Uh, we have a couple of vineyards, California vineyards, uh, Justin and Landmark Wines. So this is just the start. We could turn around and put in a group presentation, which could be water, wine, pomegranate juice, pistachios, almonds, and so on. I have no idea. Extremely mm. broadly based business. It is. Uh, it's very broadly and based. And very ambitious, clearly. It is, yeah. And we have one intention, and that is to be the world leader in pistachios and almonds, and so on and so on. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking at the next 12 months, what are your single-minded objectives? So the, the single money is to get listings because until you have the listings, none of the, the other things will happen. So it's getting listings with key retailers in global markets. Uh, we've off to a great start here in, in the US. Uh, the show's been very successful for us in the last few days. It, it's our first attendance. And from here, it's Singapore in a few months' time presenting to the Asian retailers. And again, first full presentation of the product and we look for the successes there. Once we've got the distribution in the key outlets, then it's competing from then onwards. Best stuff, Graham. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Uh, thank you very much.